Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, here at Everything Medical Explained, we do not encourage or support the illegal use of marijuana, especially in countries where it is illegal. And this video is intended for educational purposes and it should be taken as such. Thank you. Let's get started with the video. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Paji and my surname is Mavadle. The name of the show you're watching is called Everything Medical Explained. And I am the only South African doctor on the internet making videos and the only doctor on earth talking about this topic right now. So the name of the show you're watching is called Everything Medical Explained and welcome. Okay, the topic of this video is does marijuana help its consumers lose weight? If so, how? I have the short answer and the long answer. Okay, I, I put this stethoscope here, by the way, just to look professional, you know, don't not to look like some uh, douchebag or some drug dealer that's promoting his drugs. And I'm wearing this white coat to, to seem even more professional. So, yeah, even when I'm explaining the desk, I have them on. Yeah, back to the video. <clears throat> The answer is yes, at least according to studies, uh, people that smoke marijuana regularly define as smoking three times or consuming marijuana three or more times per week for a period of six months or more. And that is, that is defined as a regular use, at least according to the studies I've read. So people that use marijuana that regularly have been found to be 40% less likely to be obese compared to people that have never smoked even one blunt in a year. So the question is, if you've ever smoked marijuana, or you know someone that smokes marijuana, or you, you, I see you right there, if you are a marijuana smoker, you know that after you smoke the joint, of course I've smoked some marijuana myself in South Africa after it was legalized, not in Turkey or anywhere where it is illegal. I was in South Africa where it is legal. Yes, after I smoked marijuana, I realized I got this strong hunger. So this claimed, when I heard it, like marijuana helps people lose weight, it tinkled my brain and want, made me want to find out more. So the short answer to this question is that marijuana actually hijacks your hunger system, your hunger regulation system. It hijacks it and makes it dependent on it. That's the answer to the video. Everybody, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. The video is over. Sharp. Oh, stop. Of course, here in Everything Medical Explained, we dive deep into the topics and we break them down into smaller pieces and make sure everyone understands from at least a simple terms. The purpose of the explanation I make in this video is not to be super accurate. I'm saying this for the accuracy police that are on YouTube. I've seen in some people's video talking about this topic, they keep correcting, but according to Wikipedia or according to this and this, you are wrong here. The purpose of this video is not to be super accurate or to describe or explain an extensive analysis of the mechanism of marijuana and stuff of like stuff like that. The purpose of this video is to simplify it and then make it simple and drive the point home so everyone can understand it. You don't have to be a medical student or have prior knowledge. Everybody can just get it. So I'm switching to the desk right now to explain that. I hope I was I didn't mumble for too long. Hey guys, I hate to disturb the show when it's going forward so perfectly. As you can see there, I'm in the middle of editing. I realized I missed one important part of this uh, video i forgot to ask you guys to write in the comment section if you know you yourself smoked and your experience does it help you lose weight or not or if you know your brother or your sister or your aunt friends cousin that smokes weed uh, does that help them lose weight or not and secondly you can also write there in the comment do you believe weed should be legalized educational videos about weed or people should not talk about weed at all and i would like to ask you guys to do something for me i know some of you only come to youtube to watch my videos and then they leave youtube immediately i found out that actually has the channel and i request of you after you watch this video you are done please click on the video uh, in the corner there or down there depending if you're watching on the mobile or computer and you can watch it for one second or watch it if you enjoy it and you can click off once you are in that video because if people just watch my video and then after they are finished they leave youtube youtube sees me as cancer like i'm telling people to leave youtube so if you do that for me i would really appreciate it thank you guys let's go back to the show thank you bye for the physiology part we first need to explain what is a hormone a hormone is defined as follows 
Of course, I'm keeping the explanations very, very, very basic and simple so everyone can follow along. Even the non medical friends that don't have prior knowledge in medical terms can understand. A hormone is defined as follows A hormone is a substance made in one part of the body but has its function in another part of the body. And it is transported by blood to its place of action. Like this. It is made in one part and has a function in another part. To be moved from where it is made to where it has a function, it is moved by blood. That is a hormone. Of course, I have found a graphic that further explains this. But to recap again, using the basic, simple terms without any term, a hormone is a substance made in one part of the body and has this function in another part of the body and it is transported by blood. Now that you all understand this and you're not finding it too difficult, I'll escalate it a bit further with a graphic. The organ that makes hormones is called a gland. So the gland makes the hormone and then sends it with the blood to its target. The target is called the target organ. So I'm explaining it again with a graphic now. A hormone is a substance made in the gland and it is transported with the blood to its target organ. I hope now everyone understand that part. Uh, now we move forward to giving an example. By the way, if you don't know what EG stands for, EG stands for, it stands for example given. So the example that I will give will be related to our main topic of the day, which is hunger regulation. And we'll explain how it works before we explain how it is hijacked. So this is how it works. If a person is hungry, like this is a person, please forgive my drawing, it's kind of bad, but this is the best I can do. This is a person, and this is their brain. Like, if you do this, this person like will be dead. Like, you remove their brain, like, dead. This person have died. I, I created and I killed them. Yes. So, uh, if this person is hungry, their stomach is empty. By definition, when you are hungry, it means your stomach is empty. That person's stomach will create what is known as hormone 1. This hormone 1 will enter into the blood, that's what hormones does, and go to its target organ. Its target organ is called brain neurons. And brain neurons, once they see, uh, once, they, once they receive the signal from hormone 1, they see hormone 1 is in the blood, they will make hormone 2. This hormone 2 will go to the satiety center. Satiety center is the place in the brain that is responsible for hunger control. And this hormone 2 will tell the brain, hey, the brain, the stomach is empty, we are hungry. You get the sense of being hungry. You feel hungry. Okay, it was a handful, so let me recap again. If this person, if a person is hungry, me, you, your sister, your mom, your dad, your brother, whoever is hungry, even myself included, the stomach makes hormone 1. And hormone 1 enters the blood, once inside the blood, it finds its target organ. Its target organ is the brain neurons. And when this hormone 1 reaches the brain neuron, the brain neurons releases hormone 2. The hormone 2 goes to the satiety center and tells you you're hungry. This is basically how it works. Empty stomach, stomach releases hormone 1. Hormone 1 goes to the brain neurons. Brain neurons releases hormone 2. Hormone 2 tells the brain, tells you, it lets you know that you are hungry. Okay. So now that you all understand this, we need to take it up a notch. Let's uh, make an example now using the actual medical terms. Okay. Once a person is hungry, the stomach makes 2 AG, and 2 AG enters the blood and goes to its target organ. 2 AG is the hormone. It goes to its target organ called brain neurons. For the purposes of this video, we will not explain or differentiate which brain neurons are targeted and which ones are not targeted. So this 2AG goes to the brain neuron, to the brain neurons. Once it reaches the brain neuron, there are receptors that receive it. Once it is received, the brain neurons make the hormone 2 called krillin. And krillin goes to the satiety center. Of course, it also has its receptors in the satiety center that tells you you are hungry. And once you get the sense of being hungry here, you will eat something and the stomach will be full and will stop making 2AG and the message will not be transmitted to brain neurons and brain neurons will stop making krillin 
and krillin will not be available and will stop feeling hungry yeah so far i think everyone quite understands what uh, the topic it is how hunger is regulated and of course for this week uh, this is how far we'll go for next week we'll escalate it further go into for next week video because this require a lot of animation and graphics for next week we'll look at the following the receptor down regulation and receptor up regulation and finally we'll get to a point where we explain how weed aka marijuana aka matekwane zolo ganja joint plant has a role in this whole system where which part where okay where or which part of the system is hijacked by weed and what is its effect so for now i'm going back to the desk to the normal desk uh, format of the video to wrap it up okay. now that we finished explaining that at the desk i have to give credit to someone that helped me a lot with this video of course still next week we have part two we want to explain as i stated earlier the role okay receptor down regulation receptor up regulation and the effect of marijuana on the whole system we just explained where marijuana comes in and what it does to the system is pretty interesting and then if you're watching this video in the future when i have already uploaded part two it will be in the description and i'm sure you can learn from the title of this video is part one there will be part two and to give credit to someone that helped me a lot with this video yesterday when i was sitting i was about to give up and make a video talking about some website like last week and then i asked richard on my whatsapp friends hey, can someone help me or consult on this video i received help from raleboha mafatle she helped me a lot and i want to give her credit uh, thank you very much without her this video would not have been possible thank you thank you thank you a thousand million times and if anyone any one of you wants to also be uh, accredited in the video they can offer help by sending me medical topics or articles in my instagram which i will link in the description also and yeah you can dm me you can follow me there on instagram ladies and gentlemen it has been uh, your only doctor on the internet dr paji mafatle i thank you i'm going out thanks